Coach Beth Tarina, who, guys, let's give it a round of applause, guys. Woo! Congratulations. Not just an excellent Clearwater Invitational, which we'll get into, uh, but 500 career wins now for Coach Tarina. Um, take a moment to reflect, Coach. What did it mean to see such a massive number next to your name? <laughs> awesome 500 lsu wins is what it is which is really really cool um to think about how many times we've got to suit up in the purple and gold and just you know go out there and, and watch some of the most amazing women in the country compete so I, I don't know that i've done much i've had the best seat in the house though to watch all these awesome women compete so it's been a really fun ride uh humble as ever I uh, don't know that I've done much. As she's 27 wins away now from becoming the school's all-time winningest coach potentially. Um, and I, I coach, I did, did did that did 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 it sound like a shot when I said such a large number? I I meant that uh, congratulatory. <laughs> yeah, I think you were just saying I'm getting old. Is that no, what you're no, that, no, that's what, no, that's what I, I want to be. I think that's what he was no, trying I to do, be coach. Painfully clear that was not my intention. Um, it's it, it it is incredible, coach, and uh, what a setting. For it to come in, right? I mean, back-to-back walk-off victories. First against a ranked Northwestern team, then against a top-10 Oklahoma State team. Um, how much fun was it last week in going through those battles and uh, coming out on top? Uh, I have goosebumps just hearing you talk about it because I'm telling you the Oklahoma State game might have been one of my favorites of all time. It was just an incredible, gritty, come-from-behind performance for our team. Like, so cool to see our offense just continue to chip away. And then really, really cool. I mean, I'm the pitching coach, so of course I'm going to talk about that. But to see Sidney Burzon get touched up and just respond and yeah. respond in such an incredible, incredible manner. I mean, I know you guys like the ins and outs of it, but um, Sydney is so talented. She was, like, throwing her drop ball early, and it was getting hit. And she literally mid-game turned into a rise ball pitcher, which is, like, an impossible feat. Um so wow. um, it was really, really cool to see her do something like that. Yeah, what was it, four scoreless at the end after that five-run third? Uh, pretty incredible. And then, and then, like you said, the offense just finding a way. Um, yeah, the offense has been just outstanding. I mean, just it feels like everything we hit is on the barrel. Things are hit so hard at people, you know, and just continuing to be relentless. I mean, they literally are just pounding away at it every game. They feel like they never let the other team come up for air. Uh, Coach, there's nothing I loathe more than a Jefferson Pilot game back in the day at 11 a.m. That was the the kickoff time. Uh, how do you feel about like 8 a.m. Central Time first pitches? Well, that was the only way to get that game in because it was going <laughs> to rain, and it did. You know, I actually I actually fought for the start time. I I requested it because I wanted to play that game. I wanted to get. I would have loved to play Washington and Minnesota yeah. too, but. Um, I wanted, you know, at least one of those games. I, I knew the opportunity that was in front of us. So I actually asked for it, and my team was, like, all about it, you know? Hell yeah. What, what, what time are you team? up for, for like, that that early first pitch? Like, what what's the routine? Like, when's pregame meal? Um, oh, early. I, I found out there was a Starbucks across the street from y'all, so that was, a, <laughs> I know, a big plus that opened up pretty early. Yeah, early, early. I mean, I think we started breakfast around 6 a.m., and that's Eastern time, so 5 a.m. here, <laughs> but... Remember the motto this year, deal us in. So whenever, yep. wherever, yep. whoever, we don't care, deal us in, we'll show up, we'll play ball. Yeah, literally the entire uh yes, the 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 mission statement behind this team is uh yeah, we're 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 all in on this thing every single week. And it's kind of crazy, coach. Uh you have to be. Uh I mean you're sitting here at eight and no, up to number six in the country, impressive ranked wins already, and you look at the SEC right now. There's still one, two, three, four. There's, you're one of six undefeated teams. Twelve of the fourteen SEC teams are ranked in the top twenty-five right now. Twelve of the thirteen. Um, Vandy doesn't play softball, so that's even more impressive. Oh, Twelve of the thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Then Oklahoma and Texas are currently number one and two. <laughs> They're going to be there sometime soon. How do you kind of um, how do you strike that balance of like great job last week? Those were awesome wins, but like you know, obviously this is just the tip of the iceberg. Well, remind the other LSU coaches I have the toughest job on campus. Yeah, tell please? them. Okay, so just, just remind everybody of that one, right? So that all the softball teams are in the top twenty-five. Um, no, but I, the other thing we've talked so much about our with our team this year is just like the you versus you. Like we're playing on a five-inch field, not a two hundred and twenty-foot field. 
It's the five inches between your ears. Like, just win that battle. Like, win LSU softball. Show up the best LSU softball team we can. And our team's talented enough. We don't have to trick or gimmick or any of the things. Like, if we just play our best game, we'll be in great shape. What about this weekend? you got the Tiger Classic. you got multiple teams coming to Baton Rouge. Uh, kind of give us a preview maybe of the teams coming in. Yeah, they're, they're going to be tough. I mean, Houston's coming in at 10-1. and one. Boise's got a strong record. Austin P as well. I want to say they're, they also are like 7-1 and one, somewhere in there. Um, but everybody's had a strong start. Houston has a bunch of transfers from, I mean, Oklahoma, Tennessee, yeah. uh, you name it. You know, they've got a bunch of kids. Um, that are really talented and Arizona State transfer in there. So um, they're, they're going to bring it, and we're going to have to show up with our best game. But like I said, we're not worrying about them. We're worrying about LSU softball this year, really, really focused on just our strengths and giving them our best game. Deal us in. And um, I haven't checked the weather. I feel like it's probably going to be fantastic. It's been so nice all week. Am I right? Was it going to be a good night tonight? Tiger it's, Park it's tonight. Best weekend. There we go. Best weekend we've had in a while. So Hell yeah. It's like a great weekend to get your vitamin D and come on out. You know? I agree. And look, you got plenty of opportunity tonight at 6 p.m. against Boise State. Uh, Friday, 4 p.m. against Boise. And then again, 6.30, lining up with Houston on Saturday. Houston at 4 and Austin P at 6.30. 30. So, a ton of opportunity. Get you, get your friends, get the fam out there. Chill in Tiger Park. Watch this top 10 ranked softball team do battle. Um, this overwhelming offense. Uh, like you said, finding a way defensively on the mound. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to win. Uh, Coach, cannot congratulate you enough on uh, 500 wins here at LSU. It is, it is truly spectacular and um yeah thank you for coming on and be- best of luck this weekend hey let me mention one more thing yes. really quick Al- Allie wall jasper will be in the park tonight she's a coach at boise state who's one of the best to ever wear the purple and gold yeah. three-time all-american um she'll be in the park tonight we'll be honoring her pregame so that'll be another cool thing if people want to come out and see her as well she is a tiger legend in my book hell yes dude a little pageantry to go along with a little battle uh it does not get better than that so 6 p.m tonight in Tiger Park, uh, you can make a whole afternoon out of it, right? You want to go to the box at 2, Tiger Park at 6. It's all there for you on campus today. Coach, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Absolutely.